The semiconductor industry is facing a massive shakeup. And the catalyst? Huawei's unexpected move. The Chinese tech giant recently filed a patent for extreme ultraviolet AUV lithography technology, a key element in producing advanced chips. This move has major implications, especially for ASML, the Dutch company that currently monopolizes EUV machines. With this breakthrough, Huawei has not only stunned the industry, but also raised questions about the future of chip manufacturing worldwide. So what's behind Huawei's bold step, and why is it sending ripples across the globe? Let's dig into the details and find out. At first glance, EUV lithography might sound complex, but it's the linchpin in making the powerful technology of tomorrow. UV lithography uses incredibly short wavelengths, 13.5 nanometers to be exact, to carve intricate designs onto silicon wafers. This allows for the production of chips that are smaller, faster, and far more efficient. In a world of smartphones, high-powered computers, and data centers, EUV lithography is at the heart of what makes advanced devices possible. One company has dominated this space, ASML. The Dutch firm has invested billions into perfecting EUV technology over the past two decades. In fact, ASML holds an effective monopoly, being the only company in the world capable of producing these ultra-advanced machines. Their equipment can etch chip features as small as five nanometers, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in semiconductor design. But with cutting-edge technology comes an intense geopolitical struggle, as recent U.S. export controls have prevented ASML from selling its EUV equipment to China. These restrictions effectively halt China's ability to produce the most advanced chips, blocking its path to match global semiconductor capabilities. To bypass these limitations, China would need to rely on deep ultraviolet dove lithography, a less advanced form of the technology. But the gap is significant. Without access to EUV, China is essentially 10 to 15 years behind in terms of developing cutting-edge chips. While China's absence in the EUV space remains a critical roadblock, competitors like Intel, TSMC, and Samsung continue to work closely with ASML, advancing further in EUV's frontier. The reason for these strict controls is not straightforward. Officially, the restrictions are about national security concerns. High-end chips can drive military tech, and the U.S. and its allies aim to prevent China from developing advanced weapons powered by such semiconductors. But Huawei might be about to change that. In March 2023, Huawei filed a patent with the China National Intellectual Property Administration for a revolutionary piece of technology, their own extreme ultraviolet UV lithography system. This patent, titled Extreme Ultraviolet Radiation Generators and Lithography Equipment, centers around a laser-produced plasma, LPPE UV source, an essential element of any EUV lithography machine. It's a bold step that could disrupt the semiconductor industry as we know it. The LPP source in Huawei's design operates by targeting a powerful laser onto a microscopic droplet of tin, creating a plasma that emits extreme ultraviolet light. This EUV light, in turn, is focused precisely onto a silicon wafer to etch the fine, intricate patterns that form a chip circuitry. According to the patent details, Huawei's system uses a CO2 laser to create the plasma and a specially designed mirror layered with molybdenum and silicon to reflect only the EUV wavelengths. Tiny droplets of tin, each about 30 microns wide, are created by a specialized droplet generator, then directed toward the collector mirror, which focuses the EUV light onto the wafer with pinpoint accuracy. If Huawei succeeds in bringing this technology to life, it could drastically reduce China's dependence on foreign suppliers like ASML, the Dutch company that currently holds a monopoly on EUV machines. This would be a monumental achievement for China's drive towards technological self-reliance, a goal that's been high on the government's agenda for years. China's semiconductor industry has experienced explosive growth, reaching $143.4 billion in sales by 2020. But despite this progress, China still relies heavily on foreign tech for critical components, especially EUV lithography machines. With this patent, Huawei could give Chinese companies the power to create their own advanced chips independently, a shift that could redefine global competition in the semiconductor market. The announcement of Huawei's EUV patent sent shockwaves through the industry, hitting ASML especially hard. In the days following the news, ASML's stock price dropped more than 8% as investors grew nervous about the potential for Huawei to make strides in EUV technology. China is the world's largest semiconductor market. 
accounting for over 50% of global consumption. And any reduction in ASML sales to China could have serious financial consequences for the company. For now, the future is uncertain, but Huawei's patent could mark the beginning of a new era in chip manufacturing, challenging ASML's long-standing dominance and reshaping the landscape of technological power. While ASML currently dominates the EUV market, with over 18% of the semiconductor equipment market and 90% in photolithography machines, Huawei's recent EEUV patent suggests this might not last forever. If Huawei, along with other Chinese companies, successfully develops its own EEUV technology, it could trigger a major shift in the industry's power dynamics, chipping away at ASML's market share and forcing it to innovate even faster to keep its lead. Huawei's EUV patent is just one piece of China's larger strategy for semiconductor independence. China has been pouring our resources into its domestic chip industry, aiming to cut its reliance on foreign tech and emerge as a global leader. In recent years, China has invested billions in research and development, new fabrication plants, and acquiring foreign technology companies. In 2019, the government even launched a $29 billion fund to boost domestic chip production, aiming for 70% self-sufficiency by 2025 with plans to invest over $150 billion in the coming decade. This commitment is China's answer to competing with the US, South Korea, and Taiwan in advanced chip production. It's not just Huawei pushing this goal forward. Other companies like Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment, SMEE, are also making major strides. SMEE, backed by the Chinese government, has filed multiple EUV patents over the past few years. In 2021, announced a prototype EUV machine capable of producing 7 nanometer chips, a huge milestone for China's semiconductor ambitions. If China's push for semiconductor independence succeeds, the global industry could see sweeping changes. China's reduced reliance on foreign suppliers could increase competition in the EUV market, potentially driving down costs and accelerating innovation, a win for consumers and tech industries worldwide. But developing EUV technology isn't easy. EUV machines are extraordinarily complex, requiring decades of research and billions in investment. ASML alone has invested over $9 billion in EUV development since the 1990s. Replicating these breakthroughs will be a daunting task for Huawei and other Chinese companies, but if they succeed, it could redefine the future of global technology. The machines themselves are marvels of modern engineering, but they come with a staggering price tag. A single EUV lithography unit costs upwards of $150 million. Building these machines isn't just expensive, it's technically challenging. To create the plasma needed for EUV, high-powered lasers generate pulses only a few nanoseconds long, with peak powers surpassing 100 kilowatts. Achieving this requires specialized materials and manufacturing techniques that can't easily be replicated. Then there's the optics. The mirrors that direct EUV light onto silicon wafers are some of the smoothest surfaces on Earth, with surface roughness less than 0.1 nanometers. Crafting these mirrors requires advanced manufacturing that's rare to come by. Yet Huawei's recent patent filing marks a milestone in China's drive to build its own advanced semiconductor technology. If Huawei can master this tech, the global chip market could see a seismic shift, pushing innovation in EUV technology faster than ever. But there's another layer to this story, the political and economic tensions between the U.S. and China, which have already rocked the semiconductor industry. The U.S. has imposed strict export controls and even sanctioned Chinese companies like SMIC, blocking access to crucial American technology. If these tensions keep escalating, we might see even more restrictions on the technology flow between the two nations, adding further hurdles for China in its EUV quest. Meanwhile, the U.S. is shoring up its own chip production. The 2022 CHIPS Act brings $52 billion in funding to boost American semiconductor research and manufacturing, aiming to give U.S. companies a stronghold in this highly competitive sector. If the U.S. continues to restrict high-tech exports to China, it could widen the gap even more. But despite all the challenges, the future of the semiconductor industry is bright. Demand for advanced chips will only skyrocket with the rise of 5G AI and the Internet of Things. Projections estimate the global semiconductor market could soar to over $1 trillion by 2030. For Huawei and China's tech players, developing EUV technology is more than just a technical challenge. It's a key to claiming their stake in a rapidly growing market 
and potentially reshaping the global semiconductor landscape. What do you think? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in.